All right, take a look. It's one of the most beautiful views in the San Diego area, and some say they won't welcome any kind of change to it. An American flag is at the center of controversy in Coronado tonight. Well, the plan is to raise a flag the size of a living room to welcome home sailors. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Marianne Martinez is in Coronado with who gets the last word in this argument. If that controversial flag is approved, it would go here in Centennial Park in Coronado. Opponents of the flag don't want it because it's a rather large flag, and they say all you'll see once is up is the flag and not this magnificent view. A naval ship sails past Centennial Park in Coronado. Sailors might soon see old glory waving there. I cannot imagine anything more wonderful at the end of Orange Avenue than that large flag. How large? Here's a recreation of a 60-foot pole with an 18 by 12-foot flag. It's approximately the size of my living room. Marilyn Field lives just a few feet from where the flag would go up. She and other Coronado residents who have a waterfront view say this is not an issue of patriotism. This is not about whether you love the flag. This is about what the, putting the flag in the middle of the view will do to our view. Centennial Park is in what's called a protected corridor. Buildings, lampposts, and trees have all gone through an approval process by the city to make sure they don't block this world-famous view. It's not going, to, not going to degrade that view. It's not going to degrade it. It's going to enhance it. Admiral Ed Martin is part of the group asking the Port Authority to allow the flag on its land. Opponents have suggested the flag be moved to another location. There's what I would call a lot of nimbyism, not in my backyard. A donor is giving the $40,000 cost for the flag. The donor has unequivocally stated in writing that if this location is changed, he will withdraw his offer. Taking compromise off the table. The Port Authority will hold one more public comment meeting before making a final decision. In Coronado, Marianne Martinez, 10 News.